Okay, let's see how to evaluate infinite geometric series. The first one is the series as n goes from 3 to infinity of 4 times negative 1 over 2 raised to the n minus 1 power. The key right here is that first notice the common ratio. In this case, we have negative 1 over 2. So that's the r. And then if you look at its absolute value, which will be 1 half, and this right here is indeed less than 1, therefore this right here converges. And now, if the infinite geometric series converges, it will converge to the first term over 1 minus its common ratio. So for this right here, let's figure out the first term first. But the first term for this one, it's not equal to 4 because n starts with 3. So the first term in our case, I will write this down right here for you guys. It's the case when n is equal to 3, plugging into here, we get 4 times negative 1 over 2 raised to the 3 minus 1 power. Work this out, this right here is 4, and then negative 1 over 2 to the second power, so that's 4 times negative 1 half squared is positive 1 over 4, so in fact the first term is equal to 1. So we will have 1, and then over 1 minus the common ratio, which is negative 1 over 2. And now we just have to work this out. We will get 1 over 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 over 2. And this is just the reciprocal of 3 over 2. We will get 2 third. That's it. Now for number 2, we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity, 2 to the negative 2n times 5 to the n. So here we have n in the exponent here, likewise here. So we can actually write it on the outside. We will get the series, n goes from 1 to infinity, and then put the n's power right here. For the inside, we will have 2 to the negative 2 times 5. And we can do this because the inside is just multiplying, right? They were multiplying. So imagine that if we have this, we actually can just multiply this power with that power, this power with the power right here. And now, 2 to the negative 2 is just equal to 1 over 4. 1 over 4 times 5 is 5 over 4. So as you can see, this right here will give you the geometry series and the common ratio is 5 over 4 but its absolute value is bigger than 1. Therefore, this geometry series diverges. Now for number 3. Series as n goes from 1 to infinity, 12 times 1 over 3 raised to the 2n's power. Remember, we must have the coefficient of the n to be 1. Here we have 2, so we are going to fix it. To do so, just square this right here first. So, we will have this right here. Let's look at 1 third squared, and then after that, raise that to the nth power. Because when we have this situation, we can multiply the exponents, so we get that back. So 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9. And as you can see, this right here is actually our common ratio, 1 over 9. And the absolute value of it is indeed less than 1. Therefore, we know this geometry series converges. So we can proceed. We have to figure out the first term right here though. For the first term, it really depends on what we are starting, right? n start with 1 in this case. So we are going to put 1 in here and then work it out. So we have 12 times 1 over 9 raised to the first power. So this is just 12 over 9, reduced by 3, we get 4 over 3. So the top is 4 over 3 for the first term. Then we will divide it by 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 over 9, and then just work this out. The top is 4 over 3, the bottom 1 minus 1 over 9, we get 8 over 9. Let me just multiply by the reciprocal here and do the same thing on the top. 
So that this, 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 and that will cancel. And then just reduce it, right? So that says three goes into two one times, three goes into nine three times, four goes into four one time, four goes into eight two times. All together, we just get three over two. And that is the answer. Now, number four. We have four plus three plus nine over four plus 27 over 16, and so on. Let's have a look. To go from four to three, well, that is just multiplying by three over four. And if we do it again, three times three over four, three times three, we get the nine, and over four. And then if we do it again, you see that nine times three is 27, four times four is 16. So this right here is the common ratio, R. So of course, the absolute value of the common ratio is less than one. That means this right here converges. And now let's go ahead and figure out its value. You don't have to put this down into the sigma notation because you can actually just finish it, right? Start with the first term. It's right here already. Over one minus the common ratio, which is three over four. So nice. Here, four over one minus three over four is one over four. So multiply by four. All in all, we just get 16 for that. Now for 27. Now for number five, we have 12 minus 18 plus 27 minus 81 over two and so on, so on, so on. What is the common ratio? You can do it like this. If you pick a term, let's say this right here is negative 18, just go ahead and divide it by its previous, which we have 12, and then reduce it. Divide it by six, divide it by six, we get negative three over two. But don't just do it for one pair of numbers, try another one too. Start with 27, divide it by its previous, which is negative 18. This time we can divide it by nine, divided by nine, we get negative three over two as well. So in fact, the common ratio is three over two. That means to go from 12 to negative 18, we multiply by negative three over two. And then from here to here, we multiply by negative three over two. And then from here to here, we multiply by negative three over two. Or you could have used this and that, it's easier to start with. 27 times negative 3 is negative 81, and then over 2. But anyway though, we know the r is negative 3 over 2. And if we take the absolute value, this right here, is it less than 1? No, this right here is actually greater than 1. Therefore, this infinite geometry series actually diverges. That's it.